the Bible say, weep not for them that have no hope. Save your weeping. What? Save your weeping. When Paul, when Paul was saying that, hey, go to God, weep for them that uh, uh, have no hope. I mean, that if you go to a funeral and all their life, this person live a damnable life. They'll live a life of pleasure. They live a life of party. They live a life of sex. Live a life of drugs. Live a life of shacking. The Bible say, weep not for them that have no hope. My friend, we in a casket. The hope is gone. Hey, go to God. When you are living, you have hope. That's why I, I, I did a track. It was a track of cards say, at last you got straight now to come to church. All your life, my friend, he go to God, you don't want to come to Christ. All your life, my friend, you don't want to go to God to step your foot into church. And now you are dead in a three-piece suit. Now you are dead, dressed up, glory to God, on your way to hell. The Bible says, save, weep not for them that have no hope. Your hope is in Jesus. Hey, God, your faith is in Jesus. Your confidence is in Jesus. So the Bible says, my friend, save your weeping. Because your tears can bring them back. What say? Your tears, your sorrow can prove it, preacher. When Esau, glory to God, was rejecting, hallelujah, of getting a blessing. He trying to re weep, glory to God, to Isaac. Hey, glory, but it was too late, my friend. Jacob took his blessing and he cried, say, Father, 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 he had one more blessing. Nope, he said, nope, your brother got, his, got the blessing. Hey, glory to God, I come and tell you, my friend, weep not for them that have no hope. All hope, hallelujah, is when you are living, you can pray, you can say, have, Lord, have mercy on me. You can give your life to Jesus Christ. But the grave, you can't praise God in the grave. What I say? You can't praise God in the grave. So I'm telling you right now, if you watch this video, my friend, I'm telling you what to do. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life, oh God, to the eternal one, oh glory to God, the one that can turn your misery, glory to God, hallelujah, in, into magnificent. The one that can make t make your, your sadness, hallelujah, into surprises. I'm talking about giving your life to Jesus Christ now. Because the Bible say, my friend, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. So Paul was telling them in Philippians, oh, glory to God, Thessalonians, he said, weep not for them that have no hope. Hallelujah. Because he's saying that, you, 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 ever, go, you ever go to a funeral? And a preacher man trying to preach Bob into heaven. You can't preach Bob into heaven. Bob lives life, hallelujah, in pleasure. Bob lives life, my friend, in serving the devil. Bob lives life serving, hallelujah, hallelujah, serving money. But now Bob is dead, and you can't let the family feel like Bob is going to heaven. No, Bob is going to hell. Oh, why Bob is going to hell, preacher? Because Bob ignored God. Anytime you ignore God on earth, my Live the life, my friend, that when you die, you, you change location. You change location when you die on earth. And if you're righteous, when you serve God, you're going to heaven. Don't think everybody going to heaven. You, you ain't going to heaven because you're cute. You ain't going to heaven because you're handsome. You ain't going to heaven, my friend, because you got a doctor degree in theology. You ain't going to heaven because you're a preacher. You ain't going to heaven because you're a deacon. You ain't going to heaven because you're, you're, you're a treasurer. You ain't going to heaven because you're a pastor's daughter or pastor's son. You're going to heaven because you're born again. You're going to heaven because you believe in God. The Bible say. He that believeth and baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned, shall be doomed, shall go to God, taste the second death. What is the second death, preacher? The second death is the lake of fire. The Bible says, my friend, and the books will open, and then the book will open, which is the book of life. And everyone that was not named, hallelujah, in the book, Lamb of Life, shall be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. So the Bible says, my friend, weep not. I say, wait not for them 
that have no that have no hope. What is hope? The Bible says, now fail some of things hope for, the evidence of things that see by it, the elders obtain a good report. I'm telling you right now, my friend, weep not for them that have no hope. My question to you today, my friend, do you have hope? Hope is an anchor of your soul. I say, do you have hope? Hope is now favor some of the things hoped for, everything not seen. Without faith is impossible to please God. He that come to God must first believe that he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. The Bible says have faith in God. Some of y'all have faith in y'all money. Some of y'all have faith in y'all friend. Some of y'all have faith in y'all family. Some of y'all have faith in fun. But I come and tell you, my friend, you gotta have faith in God. Why well, I say have faith in God? Where is your hope today? So when you die, you can go to heaven and don't go to the bottomless pit called hell. A person, hey, glory to God, that don't want to, you, you want nothing to do with God. You're living a life of you. You're living for self. You live for pleasure. And when you die, Paul say, weep not for them that have no hope. Our hope is in Jesus. Our hope is not in our job. Your job might give you IRA. Your job might give you a retirement party and you get a check every month. But our hope is in Jesus. Our source is not is not finance. Our source is, is not Lord to God, our family inheritance. Our hope is in Jesus. There's a lot of people, my friend, on the side of my voice. Your hope, hey, Lord to God, is not your priority. You think, my friend, Lord to God, when you die, you're gonna be a pillar, you're gonna be the bird. Hey, Lord to God, you come back as you wish to be. Your hope is in Jesus. And we must realize that, my friend. You must live a life, hey, glory to our faith in God. Amen. Because one day, my friend, we're going to make, we're going we're gonna to meet the maker of our soul. One day, we're going to meet the master of our soul. And if you're not right, hey, glory to God, you're going to, you're going to, God going to say the power for me, you workers of iniquity. All your life, my friend, on earth, and God gonna say, you didn't put me as your enjoyment. Hey, glory to God. Why? Because we think that Jesus was a was a, a fairy tale. We think Jesus was fantasy. Amen. That's amazing, my friend. We live in a time. When people don't think about God, the only time they think about God is when they're in trouble. They think God is a, is a, is a fairy tale. They think God is a genie. You rub him and then everything gonna be all right. He go to God, make a wish. And then when you get the wish, you put Jesus Christ on the back burner. So Paul was saying that, hey, glory to God, when you're at a funeral and this person, glory to God, that you, you knew didn't have time for God, now they die. Hey, glory to God, don't cry for them. Don't even shed a tear for them. Hey, glory to God. Why? Because they live a life all about them. They live a life, glory to God, let the world become, hey, glory to God, their source of life. Weep not for them that have no hope. My friend, that, that means that our hope is in Jesus. Our confidence is in Jesus. Our source is in Jesus. Everything, that's why I say, in all thy way, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Our hope, hallelujah, is in Jesus Christ. And you, if you live, if you're watching the video, my friend, and you live in a life, my friend, of things that you, that's all you need is riches, you're wrong. 
You need more than riches and glory to God. You need the righteousness of God. You think the only thing you need is a degree? No, you need to be delivered. Your life is for Christ. Hallelujah. The, the, the Bible says, and he took, it, he took it out and said, in, in, in him we live and move and have our being. It's all about God. It's all about him, not about things. And you you think you being a, listen, you being a gold digger. Can we talk? You being a gold digger, my friend, and you live your life in the gold. That's all you think about is gold. You think about, hallelujah, money. That's all you think about, my friend. And when you die, my friend, you can't carry the money with you. I ain't never seen a hearse and a U-Haul truck that follow it. I ain't never seen, my friend, people, glory to God, hallelujah, was rich on earth. They carry the riches with them. The only thing you carry with you, my friend, and glory to God, is your works. Hallelujah. The Bible said, weep not for them that have no hope. Hallelujah. Our hope become an anchor for our soul. Hey, go to God. And it's amazing we live in a time where people just think about money. You think about material things and you think about a man. You think about machinery. But you don't think about your soul. The soul that sinned shall surely die. Hallelujah. You, you live your life for a man. Hey, glory. You live your life for a woman. You live your life for money. Money can't save you. Hallelujah. Money money can buy you glory to God life insurance, but it can't buy you eternal life. Money can buy you a, a woman, but it can't buy you a wife. Money can buy you a, a man, but it can't buy you a husband. Money can buy you glasses, but it can't buy you vision. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying people living a life without God. And when you die... When you die now, listen, when you die, the Bible says, weep not for them that have no hope. Because their hope, hallelujah, was in the wrong place. You can't think, you can't think about, about money. Money can't go so far, my friend. Money cannot deliver you in the day of destruction. Money can't deliver you, glory to God, from death. If the doctor say you're going to die, I don't care if you're rich, my friend, the money cannot bring you back. When death knock at your door, glory to God. I remember Hezekiah, Hezekiah, glory to God. When Isaiah came to Hezekiah and said, set your house in order, you're going to die and not live. And Hezekiah turned to the wall and started crying. He started weeping. And God said, before Isaiah left the porch, my friend, he said, turn around and give this man 15 more years on his life. Hallelujah. I'm telling, sir, talking to somebody right now, my friend. You're the, you're the place right now that you go to God. You think that your money can save you. Your money can't save you. What can save you is Jesus Christ. Asa died because he trust in the physician and didn't trust in God. Ha, ha, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ha, we not for them that have no hope. Our hope, hallelujah, is not in dope. Our hope is not in our degrees. Our hope, my friend, hey, glory to God, is not glory to God in a position on our job. But our hope, hallelujah, is in Jesus Christ. How glory to God. I know people say I'm fanatical. Glory to God. I'd rather be fanatical, glory to God, than live in fantasy. Hey, glory. I'd rather be fanatical than live in mythology. I'd rather be fanatical and live in psychology or oh, glory to God, or oh, philosophy. Hey, glory to God. Our hope. Don't cry for them that have no hope. Our hope supposed to be in Jesus. Oh, glory to We ought to think of Jesus Christ are more than anything in this world. Hallelujah, glory to God. The president can't help you, my friend. The only thing a president can do is pass a law. But glory to God, your, your president can't help you. The only person can help you is Jesus Christ. Weep not for them that have no hope. Hallelujah. We live in a time, my, my friend, the only thing can save you is hope. Hey, 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 your drugs, that drug, the pharmaceutical, my friend, if that medicine, glory to God, is not in God, hey, glory to your medicine can't help you. Hey, glory, we not for them that have no hope.